Hi everyone, welcome to Kaz's Corner, the place where you can learn to be set free. And today I'm going to continue on with the happiness discussion that I was talking about yesterday. And I know that people have actually written in and PM'd me and said, it's not that easy, Karen. You can't just switch on your happiness. I've got so much sadness happening in my life. Well, you can. Now, people do have sadness and there is a time for sadness, but there's also a time to no longer be sad and you need to choose how long that sadness is going to overtake you. So today, what are you choosing to help you with your happiness meter? And it can start by something as simple as what you're choosing to eat. Are you choosing something that's healthy or something that's garbage and you know, like a cake for breakfast? Are you choosing to be around positive people today? Because what we are surrounding ourselves with really does help with our happiness meter. Other people generating happiness actually makes us feel better. And what we then do is absorb a little bit of their happiness. So if you're spreading yourself around with people who are like this, then that's exactly how you're going to end up feeling. As a matter of fact, people who are happy and are surrounded by people who aren't happy, their energy levels start to get sucked in. It's a really uh, a difficult thing to continue on because you almost feel like they're vampire, like they're a vampire, and they're sucking away your happiness. However, I don't allow that to happen. I will move away from people who are like that. So today, tell somebody that you love them. I mean, you must have a group of people, and even if you don't, you could tell yourself that you love yourself, and that will make you feel better. What we're feeding ourselves daily. And maybe go out and do a little bit of exercise and that'll make you feel good. Are you choosing to dress yourself nicely today? Did you look in the mirror this morning and go, okay, I'm going to look the best I can look today? Because that will help as well. Every little thing that we do towards making us feel better actually helps towards us feeling happier and making it easy for us to switch on our happiness. And it truly can be that easy. If you're going to stay in bed all day, then you're going to feel lousy all day. I could choose to stay in bed all day. And what I have learned over the last 26 years is that even though I had the most amazing positive mindset with this disease that I ended up with, what I wasn't working on originally was my inner self. And because I wasn't working on my inner self and thinking that with my positive mindset that I was actually overcoming everything because on the outward side it looked like I was I mean I was achieving an awful lot however the damage was still running rampant inside my body because what I hadn't done was I hadn't turned inwards and looked at what was going on inside of my deep deep down pain that I was feeling for things that were going on in my life and I was hiding that from the outside world and that's part of what happened with my disease and why it actually ended up um, coming out, I suppose. It's, it's all about stress. I mean, in autoimmune diseases, most of them are triggered off by some form of stress that's been going on in people's lives. Now, I have had and been able to uh, put together some amazing techniques for a positive mindset, but also with that, you need to also work on your inner self, work on your inner happiness and truly release some of these blocks that we all have and our self-limiting beliefs of what it is that we can achieve. And I have the tools that I can share with you to show you how you can do that. Some of the other things that will make you feel good today is by also just something as simple as maybe coming home early from work for your kids. The joy that your kids will get out of that will actually inspire you. So sometimes they're just little things that we need to make a change in our daily routine and that will inspire us to feel happier. And like I said, you could share a smile with somebody that you don't even know and what will happen then is that they, not always, might generate a smile back. And what that does for you is it allows you to feel amazing. So if I could get you to do a few things today and share some of your happiness or share a text with someone and tell them that you love them because our proximity of people are the five people who are surrounding us. And ensure that those five people are the ones that you believe would come and save you if you were in some perilous situation and they would drop everything because if they're the people that are surrounding you, then you've got some really good people. Tell them today that you care about them. Send them a text. 
Don't expect anything back, but it'll make you feel good because that's what you're doing. Eat something that's healthy today. Take a step in the right direction. Take a walk. Go and breathe in some of the air. You know, look at what's around you and enjoy the life that we've got to live. And that will give you a small piece of happiness today. Because as I said, happiness is in here and all we need to do is release it and choose to be happy. So that's it from me today. And remember to share your smile with someone new or someone that you love. Cheerio.